Hello everyone, it's Sam Wilson with the Sam Wilson Home Selling Team with your March and April market update. And look, I wasn't planning on doing this today, um, hence the casual weekend close. Um, really was planning on spending the day outside. Beautiful, almost 80 degree spring day. But let me tell you about my day today and why I'm doing this now. So it started with uh, having an agent to interview, actually two of them to join my team today because we're growing that fast. And then I went to the gym and at the gym, I started watching various economic updates, national real estate data and updates from a lot of experts in the economy and in the real estate industry. And then I came to the office and I watched even more of those a lot of YouTube videos. I read a lot of charts and graphs. I read a fantastic article about buyer sentiment. And I've distilled all that down into this video. Now, this is going to be a little longer video. And I decided to just bust it out while this is all fresh in my mind, because I think it's that important. Yeah, maybe I'd rather be out on a nice spring day ride on the bike today. But um, look, I'm just a regular guy who happens to be a uh, uh, real estate professional um, to make a living. So, um, you know, I'm just like you. And on, on a day like today, I'd much rather be doing something else. But I figured I owe it to you to let you know what's going on because I am getting a flood of questions this month about whether there's a bubble, whether there's a crash coming, is, is there a recession? How's all this going to affect housing prices? Why are prices going up so fast? So I didn't want to delay. Um, you know, I'll, I'll go out and play another day, but that's how important I think this is to you, uh, my friends and customers and to the marketplace. So here it goes, and this is going to be a bit long. So, um, you know, if you're looking for some short attention span video, I guess you can jump over to TikTok. But um, I've got two pages of notes over here. I've got pages of notes over here. I'm going to distill this down into what I think is important and, you know, what's happening and why and what you should do about it, if anything, in the local real estate market. So this is coming to you on uh, April the 9th here in Denver, Colorado. So um, <clears throat> here's the big questions. Should I wait if I'm a buyer? And is there a bubble? So here's my detailed scientific answer. I don't know, people. I just don't know. I hope you can appreciate me being real about that. And let me go a step further and say anyone who tells you that they do know, then I'd question how do they know? Frankly, it's not possible to know, and I'll debate this with anybody. And the reason why is because we have never been here before. We have never been in this environment, in the economy and the real estate coming out of a pandemic. We have never been here before, so nobody freaking knows. Let's be honest about it. Now, there's a lot of data, there's a lot of science, there's a lot of pundits out there, but here's the way I thought I would approach it this month. Bottom line is it's all just speculation. It's all just speculation. And oftentimes, the speculation that you're hearing is self-serving. And I apologize to my other real estate and mortgage friends, but one example is every lender out there will still tell you it's a great time to buy because that's how lenders make money on mortgages. Most of my realtor counterparts will tell you it's a great time to buy and sell, and we'll get to that here in a moment, because that's how they make their living. I'm going to take a different approach. Again, I hope you appreciate me being real about this. Um, <clears throat> but the truth is, and my advice is always, since the day I got in this business over 20 years ago, that it's what's best for you. So I turn the question back to you. If you're looking for a silver bullet, I don't have it. I don't even have the gun that it goes in. If you want the truth, the best time to buy or sell is when it's right and best for you. What's your why? Why do you want or need to buy or sell? And then let's explore both the pros and cons 
and make the right decision for you and your family if it involves your family. I can't tell you how many times I've looked people in the eye in the past 30 days and told them not to do it, not to take action right now. Because when I talk it through with you and you think it through with your family, what's your why and should you make that move? Does it make sense for your life? It's really that simple. So what I thought I would do, because there's a ton I could cover this month, I, I swear there's I've got, I think, six charts over here, all these notes. I've got videos on pause. I finally just had to make this video. So, because here's what, here's what I have to tell you, is that I'm going to focus on the actions. What are the actions of the market? What's actually happening as reported by the March real estate statistics in the Denver metro area? This is what's really happening combined. I'll have some anecdotal um, observations in my own business. And then again, you can decide and we'll conclude what to do at the end. All right, so here we go. So first, I want to clear something up. I noticed a big problem in the statistics that are being reported. I'm sure by now, if you're seeing this video, I'm sure you've seen it widely reported that inventory, homes for sale at the end of March was up 81% over February. But here's what was not revealed. Here's the truth in the numbers. One of the biggest on-market listing dates for new listings is Thursdays. One of the worst new on-market dates for new listings is Mondays. Well, guess what? You probably already know what I'm going to say. The March report was pulled on Thursday. The February report was pulled on a Monday. So there you have it. There's a natural surge in inventory levels just between a Monday and a Thursday. So I wouldn't put too much stock in that number. And oh, by the way, 81% is peanuts because the inventory was so low, the 81% only represented like 800 more listings. This is not a big deal in a market of 3 million people, right? So I wanted to clear that up because of course, you know, the, the headlines are just that. So there's, there's what <clears throat> uh, more, a more, pragmatic look at the numbers reveals. Next, there is less than one home for every buyer in the market. Less than one home. It's about four tenths of a home. So really, on average, there's less than one home for every two buyers. How about that? What that means is more competition and bidding wars, and the following numbers will reveal that. In March, Homes sold anywhere from 4% over list to 12% over list, list or asking price. The average was almost 108%, meaning 8% over the asking price for the total metro area. Isn't that amazing? So if buyers are really concerned about a bubble or wanting to wait, then why do they continue to bid prices up this extremely right now? It's the market. If you want a house, it's the market. So we don't see that slowing down anytime soon, but that would be speculation. And at the beginning, I said anyone who says they know really doesn't know. And I don't. I'm just telling you the facts, what's happening right now. So this is very fresh data for closings through March. 108% of the purchase price. Now, here's even more information. 85% of all sales in March were over asking price with multiple offers. 85% of all sales. Almost 100% of sales in the 400,000 to 800,000, the most desirable price range right now, were over asking price with uh, multiple offers. 72% of homes for sale went under contract in less than seven days. That's right. Three quarters of the homes for sale sold went under contract or pending within seven days. And here's a velocity observation. This was faster by four days than last year at the same time. So things are accelerating, not decelerating. And again, this is up to one week ago, very fresh data. All right. 
Here's another one. Coming soon listings. You probably see these if you're out there looking. Coming soon. As realtors, we're allowed to list a property coming soon for up to seven days. Coming soon listings have doubled in the past week. This is a leading indicator for more homes coming on the market. And believe it or not, they're starting to sell sight unseen during coming soon. Here's, here's what most agents won't tell you is that during the coming soon period, it is illegal to show the property. There are no showings allowed during coming soon. I'll tell you, uh, I'll give you an anecdote right now. I put one on uh, just yesterday, Friday, coming soon for one week. Today's Saturday. This is mm, 20 some hours after it went coming soon. I have four bona fide sight unseen cash offers. That's right. People are willing to buy these properties sight unseen and guarantee their earnest money be non-refundable in case they do go see it once we get under contract, which we can do, by the way, <coughs> if um, and, and uh, return the earnest money to the seller if they back out for any reason. That demonstrates demand. In my opinion, that's not a slowing market. <clears throat> that's not a bubble market. Again, though, that's just speculation, but the facts would tell the story. <clears throat> um, a report based on showing data and demand that I just watched here uh, about an hour ago states that there needs to be in the Denver Metro 12 to 13,000 listings available to satisfy demand. And right now there's less than 2,000 listings on any given day. So it appears that there's going, it's going to be a while for supply to catch up with that kind of demand. That doesn't happen overnight. Um, if we're only running at, you know, 20% of the listings needed to satisfy the demand, it's going to take a while to increase demand enough to satisfy all those buyers. Now, certainly, uh, the next thing is mortgage rates. And with mortgage rates going up a little bit, um, like every day, every week, for um, a very large increase over the past month, sure, there's going to be less buyers. But how many less? Again, that would be speculation. We don't know. <clears throat> so um, you, you can't ignore mortgage rates. <clears throat> and again, they might be going up a little bit every day. But since the first of the year, they've gone up significantly. So um, all indications are that mortgage rates will continue to rise commensurate with the Federal Reserve raising their rates. They're not directly related, but they're close cousins. And you can go Google how the 10-year Treasury yield affects uh, mortgage interest rates. Not for me to discuss here. Um, but as the rate continues to increase and the Fed continues with its uh, what's called quantitative tightening, um, which is directly impacting mortgage-backed securities and the price of those. We're going to see the 10-year Treasury yield increase, which means mortgage rates will continue to increase. And the Fed has already um, discussed planned rate increases again uh, here soon. Um, I believe it's in May. So you can expect that to continue. So I did some calculation. I have another chart um, over here that shows uh, the around the first of the year, mortgage rates were about 3.375. Uh, it might have been in December. Today, they're hovering around 5%. The difference is in payments, $1,021. That's right. On a mortgage for a $600,000 home with a 20% down payment, that's our median price, by the way, in Denver, $600,000 with a 27, I'm sorry, 20% down payment. Your monthly payment just for principal and interest has increased over $1,000. 
So there is a cost to waiting. And if you believe that um, things are going to continue to rise, then it's definitely cheaper money to buy now. Okay. And I'm again, I'm only talking about now. I don't know what's going to happen, but all indications are that things will continue to rise and there is a cost to waiting. There is. So in conclusion, know your why, especially if you're a buyer. Know your why and what your options are. If you choose to wait for a price and or a mortgage rate reduction, it might be a long time. You know, do it. Wait. Be patient, though. It might be a long time for the market to even out. And even out from where to where. We don't know where this is going yet. Again, all indications are it's in an upward fashion based on what I just reported to you, based on what the facts are showing us on current activity. But again, you know, it, it, we just don't know. But where will this top out? It's still unknown what the high is, how high is high, and when will it happen? So that applies to both prices, home prices, and mortgage rates. Calculate the cost of waiting and call me if you want to know how to do that. I've got a formula for it. I can help you calculate it. It's actually pretty straightforward. We just need a few numbers and I can help you look at it. It's always free. There's never any obligation. I'm just trying to help people through this market. Just, just a regular guy in the same situation you are. Because by the way, I am. <laughs> I forgot to mention that I am in the market to both sell my current home and buy a replacement home. So quite frankly, if you're waiting, if you're headed to the sidelines, I um, very personally and sincerely appreciate that because it'll allow me more choices um, of a home to purchase because I'm looking to purchase in the average price range. Um, sell a much more expensive home and downsize into the average price range. So the less buyers that are in the market competing with me, the better my opportunity is. But I'm ready to move right now and I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to back out of the market. So um, that's another real thing right now. Actions of somebody actually in the market. So um, because I've calculated my cost of waiting and I don't want to risk that. It's just risk then I don't want to risk that. If you're thinking about selling, I'd still recommend that you price at the higher end of your sweet spot. And when I bring you a price opinion for your home, I will give you the sweet spot. It's the range. It's not a dart in the board. It's not a pin on the tail of the donkey. It is a range from low to high. And see what the market says when the property goes live. Let's use the market. Any realtor who tells you they know the price of your home, they're only one person. How can they know that? I can prove that by telling you to have three appraisers come over. I guarantee you get three prices. Guaranteed, or I'll take you to lunch. How's that? But don't waste your money on appraisers. Put the house on the market with a smart price point. I'll give you that range. I'll give you that starting point. And then here's what most realtors won't tell you, is that we are allowed to do a full week of coming soon activity, all right? A full week. So why wouldn't you put the property on the market coming soon, no showings allowed, for a full week and see what kind of feedback I can get for you? See what kind of interest, see what kind of requests. And like the listing I just told you about, Maybe we'll even get sight unseen offers, all right? And by the way, those are already bidding each other up because I'm good at um, negotiating and getting buyers to, um, you know, uh, pay what your home is worth and as much above list price as we possibly can. So the one price, the one property I told you about might not ever go all the way to the active market. Sellers always reserve the right to sell the property during the coming soon period. So what if you got an offer during the coming soon period above your list price with guaranteed earnest money, 
sight unseen, as is, cash, or at least really solid financing, why wouldn't you consider that? So use the market to do your research. There's never been a better time to do that. And have an agent that can help you work through that, make smart decisions, and negotiate the best result for you. So call me anytime. All my information is here in the blog, all over my website. Lots of other heat, free, helpful real estate information. And don't forget about my newest offer, my free home selling kit. Uh, look for that page here on the website. Um, I thought I had one here, but I don't. Um, it's a box full of information, a literal box full of information. It uh, weighs a couple of pounds, and I, I can't email it to you. It's only something I can uh, actually physically have delivered to you. So it's always free. There's never uh, any obligation for that. A uh, very valuable package if you are thinking about selling. And, of course, I'm always happy to give you a home value. If you're a buyer, how are you finding homes that you can't find on the Internet? How do you find the homes that are not listed online? I can help you with that as well. We have those listings available for you, depending on the time in the market. So thanks for listening. I know this was a long one. I'd love to get your feedback too. Um, please let me know anytime. Call, text, email me. Have a great day.